I mean, I want to communicate, so I get very uh, miffed or angry when I feel like A is a scarlet letter here, you know, the artist is the scarlet letter that we're in our own heads, our own cocoon, and all we want to do is the art, and we're not really interested if it makes money. Or... No, you have to be responsible. As a, as, a, as a director, if I'm doing a big budget show or a big budget movie, I am thinking about the audience. And there has to be a respect in both ways. You have to think about that. So even in something like Spider-Man, I believe, and I still do, it communicated to an even more bigger audience than it does now, if we had properly done it. But that takes the village. That takes a producer and colleagues that are going to stick together through the titanic hard times. And we all know those stories. And that's where our, our, our society has to watch out because with all the chatter and all of the quick responses, you just have to keep a certain amount of blinders on. You have to look straight to the end and remind yourselves, why are we doing this? And, and that doesn't mean just the, the money. What, is, what was inspiring about Spider-Man? It is a good story. It's one of the greatest myths that this contemporary society all over the world has. It has the possibility to heal, to teach, to educate, and to entertain. Just like the Lion King, that's why I do it. By the way, of all the people I've dealt with, uh, the most successful artists are one, the most intelligent, and the most cooperative, the most friendly. Those that are cliché assholes, <laughs> they don't last very long. They may, you know, they may, <laughs> they, don't. they end up on Pacific Coast Highway ranting to a cop about things they should be done. They, they, they just don't last forever. I think Damien Herzl had a 